Good morning. Today is March 1st. March 1st. I was going to say February 29th, but it's not true. It's not a leap year. It is March 1st. Uh, anyway, today is March 1st, and it's the second day since breaking my nine day fast. And as you saw yesterday, it was slightly difficult for me, but luckily, even though I had a little bit of the cashew sauce, um, it didn't affect me badly. Like, I feel okay today, maybe a little bit swollen, a little bit thirsty, but um, other than that, I feel really good. I feel really, really good. I cut up some pineapple that I have. I have the leftover watermelon from yesterday and I'm gonna drink some prune juice today. So I'll break my fast a little in a little bit, probably around like 8.30, 8, I don't know, something like that. 8.30, I still need to brush my teeth. Um, so after I brush my teeth and let that settle for a little bit, I'll have the prune juice and I'll just sip on that for a little bit this morning. And then I'll probably break it with either the watermelon or the pineapple. So I'm really excited about that and I'm so, 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 so grateful that my body handled that sauce. I was a little concerned, but I also wasn't as concerned as I would have been in the past. Let's put it that way. I probably would have freaked out and started crying and been really, really upset, but I didn't do that. So that's great. That's a step in the right direction. Um, anyway, I the sauce did come out really good. It was it was really tasty so you know I'm excited for maybe trying it a little later in the future but as of now not gonna do that again so I'm I'm planning to stick to a more regimented schedule today and more watery fruits like I had the during yesterday and I'm good I don't want to eat during today for sure um, yeah, so that is the plan for today. I am excited. I woke up this morning and I just feel wonderful. Every single morning I've been waking up feeling really great. And yes, that is it. Just wanted to kind of let you know what the situation is this morning. Cause I thought I would, I wanted, I told you that I would keep you posted about how I felt. And I'm just so, 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 so grateful that nothing bad happened. <laughs> um, yeah. And I, I think that also doing the Kalima board yesterday helped to alleviate some of that stuff. But I was also having some cramps already for my period. So, you know, everything's good. Everything is great, actually. So, I will keep you posted. I'll see you later. Have a wonderful rest of the morning. All right, so we packed everything up. We're on our way to go. Andrew is in the car. He's coconut pulling, you see? <gasps> Yay! <laughs> anyway, um, we're about to get our day started and we hope you have a wonderful day and yeah, we'll talk to you later. Oh, also it's extremely beautiful outside. It's a little on the chilly side. It's I think in, gonna be in the high 50s, but it's so nice. The sun is shining, it's so beautiful. Spring is in the air, it's wonderful. Everything is great, everything is great. It's great. Hey, so I'm back again at my favorite, favorite spot. Um, I already ate some pineapple today. I feel great. I did freak out a little bit from eating the sauce that I made. I know I didn't eat that much, but I was just concerned. But I guess since I was only doing a nine day fast, it wasn't that big of a deal. Anyway, I broke my fast already about 12 30, I want to say, and I had about two cups of pineapple. That was just the perfect amount because my tongue started kind of burning. You know, when my tongue started burning, getting that acidy, you know, when you eat too much acid or citrus, it just kind of starts to itch and feel kind of weird. So, yeah, that started happening. But I had some pineapple, it was about two cups, and I have about three cups of watermelon. And I was gonna drink some prune juice today, and I'm, I'm still hoping to, but I forgot it at home. So when I do end up going home, uh, that's the plan, to drink some of that, just to make sure that my bowels start to move on their own. Anyway, I had a really wonderful morning so far. I just woke up feeling what, great, 
wonderful, amazing, and I, uh, just had a really great day so far. And it's not even over, and I'm excited. So I'm just gonna relax here for a little bit before I venture home. When I go home, I do need to wash quite a bit of dishes. They're kind of piled up right now. They're just not the easiest to clean, and I've been a little bit slacking on that. So when I get home, I definitely wanna go wash the dishes, and then I will need to prepare Andrew's tinctures and tea and bring it to him, because I'm actually gonna pick him up from Hawthorne Valley, well, from his job. I'm gonna pick him up from his job, and then we're gonna to go to Albany to go to Trader Joe's, because um, we're gonna go up to Albany to go to Trader Joe's to get the two cases of grape juice that we ordered for Andrew. Uh, that way we are prepared when we go to Vermont this weekend for my birthday celebration. So yeah, I'm really excited to do that. I just want to spend some time here by the river. It's so incredibly beautiful. It's so peaceful. It's really wonderful. I'm really excited to, for it to get warm so that I can actually swim in the water. I suppose I could swim now if I really wanted to, but it's a little bit too cold for me. I know it would be really refreshing and it's really good for you and I'm just not at that point in my life quite yet. Not yet. It's okay, eventually. I'll be there. So, anyway, I probably, I just said I didn't eat that much pine, pineapple. I'm feeling a little hungry still, but I'm gonna wait a little longer until I eat the watermelon because I just want that to digest a little bit before I venture to eat something different. I also know that in the master fast, they do recommend eating meals, like one meal, one modern meal of fruit. But I feel like with the pineapple, I didn't quite have enough. But I also didn't want to eat that much either because it makes my tongue feel weird. So anyway, that is the plan. I will keep you updated if I have if I have anything else or what I do have. I so, 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 so want to eat a salad right now, but since it's the first week breaking my fast, I know I need to stick to the fruit. So I really am doing my best. But I just really, 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 really want to eat other things too. And today I gave some friends pasteles that I made. The, I gave them pasteles that I made when I was in New York City that Andrew and I have had in our freezer for a little while now. And they loved them. They loved eating them and I smelled them and they smelled so good. And all I want to do is eat pasteles. Ugh. But it's okay. Everything with time. I don't even know how my body will react to eating pasteles, but you know, I made them, I did make them vegan. And yeah. So I really can't wait to at least try a little bit of one. Anyway, that's pretty much it for today. I don't think there's anything else, so. But I just feel really wonderful, and I'm excited to just sit here and read a little bit, and then head out, do the things that I want and need to do, like wash the dishes. Those are that's important to do, because if when we don't wash the dishes in our tiny house, it just, it just looks crazy in the kitchen, and when the kitchen is crazy, it's really difficult for me to function in our house. So I really do need to take care of that when I get home. So I'm excited to do that, I can't wait. Anyway, until I eat next, I will keep you posted. All right, bye. Okay, so I just arrived at home. I got a few things at the farm store. I bought some cilantro, some pea shoots, some basil, uh, dental floss also. But anyway, I just got home. It is 2.49, about three o'clock, so I don't have that much time. I just need to take a moment because I'm like wanting to eat everything right now. Just like everything. Like, but not like meat, obviously. Like that's never, when I mean everything, I don't ever mean meat, dairy, any of that stuff. Any animal products. I don't ever mean that. I mean like 
pasta or rice or beans or um, sweet potatoes, things like that. That's what I mean by everything when I say that, just to clarify. But I really wanna have like, quinoa with tomato sauce or pesto sauce on it or just something or like a really big salad with tomatoes and pepper and lettuce and pea shoots and lime juice. So that's really what I'm wanting right now. So instead of eating that, I'm gonna have some watermelon and I'm gonna eat the watermelon in here, which is, I think it's about three cups because it's not quite filled to the max and this hole is about three and a half cups. So it's about three, three, you know, maybe two and a half cups. Two and a half to three cups of watermelon. I'm gonna see how I feel after that. Um, if I'm still feeling hungry after that, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna cut open another watermelon and eat another bit of it. So, just thought I would let you know that, so. That was really, really good. And I'm just gonna let that settle a little bit. I think I ate that a little bit fast. I'm just like, I feel a little bit ravenous. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how things go. I'll keep you posted. It's been much more difficult for me to break this fast than the 108, but I also knew the severity that if I didn't follow completely correctly for the 108 day fast, like it, a lot of things could go wrong very quickly and I could put myself in a situation that is really, really not good. Whereas this nine day fast, I, I guess I'm not honestly taking it as seriously as the 108 day because it's just, it was just nine days. It wasn't three months. Pretty much you know so I honestly to be perfectly honest I'm not really taking breaking this fast as seriously for whatever reason I'm not really sure I'm not really sure what the situation with that or what's going on with me with that but I just thought I would say that because I am I want to be as honest as possible and uh, yeah I'm just really having a hard time breaking this fast and I think what's really more most difficult for me is that I guess my thinking was that I was planning to do this 108 day fast and I have been concerned about eating again and I did reach out to the Facebook group that they have on the master fast system and they did suggest continuing on with the hybrid and I wasn't expecting to do that I had originally planned like I would do the 108 days and then I would break it correctly, but then I was planning to start eating certain foods and seeing how I felt eating them, like brown rice and some beans and things like that, which they definitely do not recommend. That's not what's recommended at all. Like the master fast system is a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle that people live where they fast and they eat certain foods, they eat a mucusless diet based on Arnold Ertz's teachings. M well, most of the people, that's what they teach in the Master Fast system. And I really don't think that I'm mentally ready for that in my life right now. And I have to be okay with my, I have to be okay with that. Like I, I mean, I'm working to be okay with that because when I do something, I really like to follow through and do it 100%. And for me to be like, oh, I don't know that I want to do that, it's, it has been challenging. It's been a challenge because I know I've gotten extremely great results from doing the fast. And I know like a lot of the things they say is pretty accurate and they, your body can heal from so many things. However, I'm just, I'm honestly not ready, I think, to heal on that deep of a level right now in my life. What I've accomplished in the 108 days 
is amazing. It has been amazing and I am so incredibly grateful and I'm so, honestly, if I didn't do the 108 days, I would not be where I am today. And I feel like never would you have told me would I be waking up. Like if you had talked to me before doing this fast, I would have never told you, yeah, I'd wake up at 4.30 in the morning every single day and do gratitude and affirmations. No, I never thought I would be doing that ever because I really love to sleep. I really love to sleep. So I would never have ever thought about waking up at 4.30 in the morning every single day to get up to do these gratitudes and affirmations and things like that. No, never. And now I do that. I do that every day. Andrew and I have been doing that for almost a month, I think now. And, you know, I think with the fast, it's really changed my view on things. And, you know, this morning I woke up, I was extremely excited to wake up and happy to greet the day and just like excited to get the day moving. Whereas before I'd be like, oh, why do I have to do this? Oh, I have to go to work. Oh, I have to do this. Oh, oh, you know, just like that all the time. And now I'm just like, oh my gosh, great. I can't wait to go to work. I can't wait to go do this. I can't wait to wash the dishes, you know, like, I'm a little tired right now and I'm procrastinating a little bit on that because I have to, when we wash the dishes, we have to walk them over and so it takes a little bit more time. So I just want to relax, digest this food for a second and then just take care of that. But you know, it's really, really changed my life. And so I'm hesitant to stop, to want you to stop to do that. But I also really want to incorporate some other foods back into my life because I really, 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 really love to eat rice and beans. And obviously, you know, there's a lot of things people really, 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 really love to do that aren't very good for them. But I think in, on the scale, you know, on the scale of what's really bad for you to eat versus like what's the best for you to eat, I think rice and beans is closer to better things to eat than, you know, let's say meat because meat has been proven countless times that it's not the best thing for you to eat. It's very difficult for the body to digest and I'm not saying that you should never ever eat meat but the amount of meat that people eat daily is a little bit much. Just a little bit in my opinion. From what I've learned, from what I've read, from what I've researched. So anyway, that's my point on that but any you know, that's one of the things that I think about a lot. So we'll see, you know, I don't know. Maybe I won't ever eat rice and beans again, but maybe I will and see how my body reacts to it. If it doesn't really react well, I have this com incredible resource of the master fast system and I can go back to that, you know? I don't, I don't know. That's something that I've been struggling with and I want to be honest about that as well. So yeah. We'll see. I'll definitely keep you posted about everything. But right now, I've just really been struggling getting off of this fast and just sticking to the fruit. <laughs> so, anyway, I will... I'm just going to rest for a little bit now and then I'll keep you posted about what I do if I decide to eat another... If I eat some more watermelon or drink some prune juice. I actually really wanted to drink some prune juice because I did not have a bowel movement yet today. I mean, I did break it yesterday, but I didn't really eat too many fibrous things. I had about three cups of watermelon, maybe a little bit more, and uh, durian. And that's pretty much all I ate. Last time when I broke my fast in 108 days, I actually ate prunes, rehydrated prunes. So I actually had a bowel movement the next day. I don't know what will happen. We'll see. So I was thinking the prune juice, that if I drink some prune juice that would help. I also have some prunes hydrating right now, rehydrating them so that I could also eat those. So we'll see. I just, I don't know. I'm just feeling like, hmm. But I think also has to do with the full moon. But I really just, I just want like a, a warm something is really what it is. Like I want like a soup. I just want a soup or something. It's okay. Everything is all good in the hood.
so I'll keep you posted. Talk to you later. Hey, so I took a little nap. I think it was about 20, 30 minutes, which is great. It gave me the energy that I needed to do things that I wanted to do. So as you can see, I washed our dishes. They, they kind of dry over here, kind of stacked them up. I washed all of our dishes. I got Andrew's tinctures ready, his, heated up his tea, and I am sipping on some prune juice now. I don't know if you can see that. But um, anyway, I'm getting everything ready because I have to leave in like five minutes. I have to leave in like five minutes to get Andrew from work and then we're gonna go up to Albany to go to Trader Joe's and get some things. And I'm wondering if they maybe have a home goods there in Albany. So I'm gonna research that really quickly before I run out of here because I am interested in investing in some kitchen stuff. So if they do have a home goods there, that would be really awesome. But if not, that's, quick, that's okay as well. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to let you know that I've been sipping on some prune juice. I actually started sipping on it after I got out of, after I got up from my nap, and then I went and quickly did the dishes. So now I'm ready to pretty much go. I just need to check on those things, and then I'm gonna head out of here and go see Andrew. So I'll catch you later. Okay, so we're in the car right now on our way to Trader Joe's. There's Melissa, she's focusing on the road, being Crazy. responsible. That's true, and um, drinking my prune juice. And we're going to be picking up some more grape juice, two more cases for me because we're going away to Vermont for Melissa's 30th birthday. Woo, woo, woo -hoo. And we're gonna be leaving on Saturday for that. So we're just preparing so that I have enough grape juice because I'm drinking two to three per day. Now mostly three per day. And we're also going to pick up some peppers and some other nutritional food for nutritious food for Melissa. Some, and some fruits, some veggies. Some other fruits, some things that she's able to eat since she's now yep. off the for nine days fasting. Yes. So she's back to slowly introducing food to her diet, which is awesome. And she's really excited about it. Yes. And into next week she will eat a lot more salads, which is also awesome. Which is exactly what I want to be and eating right now. It is. But however, I'm drinking it's produce. still the first week of her of her eating food after the fast, so she needs to just be a little more careful. Alright, remember to comment and like the video or dislike. That's fine with us too. And of course subscribe if you want to get the updates and hit the bell for notifications. See you next time. Woo, woo, woo. Hello everyone. All right, so Andrew and I had a very eventful time going to Trader Joe's in Albany. We got the grape juice, we got a few um, produce things for me, like peppers and a few more tomatoes. I also, we also went to the Asian market, got some coconut water and uh, oh, apple bananas. So I'm really excited about that. And Rakao. I don't know what it's called in English. I need to find out what's called in English because I know it's in the cilantro family, but it's a spice that they use in Puerto Rico. And as a kid, I always said recao. I don't know, like, I know what it looks like. I know what it smells like. I just don't know what it's called in English. And I really want to plant it so that I can have a lot more than working to find it in grocery stores so if you know where they sell the seeds for Rakao that would be great because every time I've looked for it they just say it's actually cilantro and it's not cilantro it's different the leaves look different I would pull it out right now but I have to find it in our bags that we have so I'm not gonna pull it out but I'll show you in a different video because I think I'm going to be making uh, sofrito soon or yeah or the, I don't know, I think it's called, I don't know what people really call it, but it's the green stuff you put in your beans in Puerto Rican dishes. So, but I, I know there's different kinds of sofrito, there's like the red and then there's the green. So I'm planning to make the green one and put some recao in it and I'm really excited about that. And yeah, I found it at the Asian market, which is awesome, super, super awesome. And then we went to Honest Weight in Albany, which is a really, really, really cool co-op. And we got some fun things for our, my, my birthday trip that we're going on. 
Andrew and I are going on a birthday trip for me. We're going up to Vermont and we're staying at uh, two different Airbnbs and they have a bathtub. So we got some Epsom salt and some seaweed bath relaxing things. So I'm really, really excited to use those. And we also got this chakra thing, which seemed kind of cool. It was like a bath salt chakra thing. And yeah, so I'm really, really excited about those things. And I just wanted to post, uh, the reason why I started filming this actually was because I'm actually gonna have a coconut that Andrew so nicely opened for me with the Coco Jack. Um, I'm gonna have a coconut and that's gonna be it for the day because I'm feeling a little thirsty right now and I just really want a coconut. So I'm having a coconut, it's about 10, 10 to 10, so it's a little bit later, but I did break my fast this morning a little bit on the late side. I started eating around noon, so it's okay. And tomorrow I can break it. I'm at least fasting 12 hours a day still, even though I'm not doing the fast itself. I'm eating food, but I'm doing at least a 12 hour dry fast. I'm aiming for a little more like 14 to 16 hours, but whatever I get to, it has to at least be 12 for me. That's the rule that I made for myself, which is really, it's working for me pretty well. And I'm pretty much eating when I'm hungry. So today I was working and I got hungry, so I had pineapple. And then when I got home, I was hungry, so I had the watermelon. And then I woke up, I was kind of hungry, a little bit thirsty, and then I had the prune, prune juice. And I also had a great bowel movement. I forgot to mention that, but I had a wonderful bowel movement. And a little bit of mucus came out, which was good. It's good that the mucus is coming out. And it was a little bit more solid, I think, than what I have been. But I haven't really been seeing because I've been doing cleanup boards. But it was like a really satisfying, wonderful release. So I'm really glad that I'm my bowels were moving. I think the prune juice helped, definitely helped uh, that happen. The prune juice definitely helped that happen. So I'm really happy that that did happen. But I just wanted to let you know that. On that note, I'm gonna go drink my coconut water. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you wanna see when we post the new videos, you can subscribe to our channel below. And we'd love to hear from you. So if you wanna comment, please feel free. I hope you have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.